can you solve this lead code sql problem on finding active users asked in the interviews of companies like amazon and meta here we are given two tables an accounts table and a login table accounts table basically has the id of each user with their names and the login table contains the date at which each user logged into their accounts we need to find the id and name of those users who logged in to their accounts on five consecutive days so first of all we select star from the login table like this and then we assign dense rank to each of the row over partition by id and order by login date because we need to find consecutive login dates for each id right and now what we do is for every row we subtract the corresponding dense rank from the corresponding login date like this using the data add function i can now give the interval as day and put a minus over here because i need to subtract and then finally i will give the column for the date which is the login date like this and i can just rename this as rest date like this right now this resultant date will be same for all the consecutive dates for a given user because these dense ranks will always be in a sequence and hence subtracting them from the respective login dates which themselves are consecutive will actually result in the same resultant date and you can check this for yourself hence now i actually have a way to group these consecutive logins right so now what i will do is i will just wrap this particular query in a ct like this call it as ct underscore groups maybe like this and like this and now what i need to do is i just need to select from this particular ct underscore groups like this and i can now group by id comma rest date right and also now i will put a having clause saying count of distinct login date should be greater than or equal to 5 right so now what i will do is i will just wrap this particular query again in another ct and call it as ct underscore filtered maybe like this and like this and now i just need to select from this particular ct underscore filtered and i will call it as a and i will inner join it with my accounts table and call it as b and i will do this join on a dot id is equal to b dot id right and over here in the select i will just select a dot id comma b dot name and this should be my final result right happy coding and see you then